Now the first thing you might see is brand new, haven't used it yet, it's a Yugo Pro Baseball coffee <laughs> mug because I drink coffee all the time. What's going on guys? Coach Matt at YougoProBaseball.com. I'm here with the man Nick Shaw, former Brewers middle infielder. And in this video, I wanted to ask him what's in his baseball bag. I shot a few videos of what's in my baseball bag before, did really well. And I'm curious to know what's inside of there. Nick is actually the creator of the baseball box. It's a monthly subscription box that's sent directly to your doorstep. So if you got that special baseball player and you want to hook up with some baseball swag, check out the baseballbox.com. In fact, I'm gonna have him open it up in a second and show us what's inside of a typical baseball box. But before we get into it, we are here at the USSSA Space Coast Complex, 15 beautiful turfed out fields. Nick and I are actually scouts for the USSSA All-American Games, and we're traveling again this year, 2021, 10 tryouts. Last year, we didn't get to travel, unfortunately, but this year, the summer event, July 18th through the 24th, so check the link down below to see if we're coming to a town near you in one of those 10 tryouts so you can come here in the summer and participate in the USSSA All-American Games. Now, let's get into it. Before we get into your, your bag, I wanna see what's in the typical baseball box. Let's see what you got. I get this question a lot. What's in the box? So today, let's check it out. In your typical baseball box, you will get a gamer guide, all right? What this has in it is a little bit of little tips, tip of the month. You know, it always features one of our subscribers has all his information about his name, his favorite type of pizza, favorite type of player, all this stuff, information about him. Has the pro tip, a little joke, and uh, how you can find us on social media. After that, we got a little web glove. We did a bunch of videos today, some good, some bad. John got me one time, I got him one time. But the web glove, all right, use it for fielding, hitting, whatever you might do with a wiffle wall machine. Again, a great tool. After that, got a shirt, rub dirt on it. Get hit, something happens on the field, don't hang your head, rub some dirt on it, all right? <laughs> Evo Shield wrist, wrist Guard, Evo Shield Wrist Guard, all right? A little extra support for infielders, outfielders, wherever you might play. Drawstring back, phrase of maybe the last couple of years, dingers, all right? <laughs> Swinging for the fences. We got some practice socks, red, white, and blue. An arm sleeve, a headband. This one actually says Road to Millions on it. Ooh, Dream big. I like that. Uh, glare blockers, eye black, stickers. Love it. Hand warmers, I'm a Florida boy, so it gets below about 50. I'm breaking these out. <laughs> Rosin bag, I know I was an infielder, but sometimes things get slick, especially I played college ball in, in Miami, Florida. It's wet a lot of times with sweat, humidity. Can use a rosin bag to dry that up. As a hitter, pine tar. If I didn't pine tar my bat on the way to the plate, I just didn't feel right before the first pitch was even thrown. Finally, we got sweatbands and we got a back grip here. Take care of your glove with a little glove oil so that thing lasts a little bit longer. And before the snacks, we have I rub dirt on a bottle, hydrate, and rub some dirt on it. <laughs> uh, now dugout snacks this month had popcorn, white cheddar popcorn, which is one of my favorites. And you can't take the field without some sunflower seeds. Unless right. you're at the USSSA Space Coast Complex. We don't allow see seeds on these beautiful fields. <laughs> and lastly, you got some bubble gum, all right? And each first box I send out, I write a little note to the ball player and put my autograph or whatever that's worth on the box. So that's what can be found in the baseball box. Now this is different every month, right? So you're not gonna get the same stuff every single month. It's a monthly subscription box. Or you could just get one if you got that special player, right? They could just order one instead of having a monthly subscription. Um, but really cool if you got that special ball player that you wanna hook up for a month to month and ha have them get some cool baseball stuff. Really cool idea. I wish I would have thought about it, actually, if we're being honest. But let's get into the bag. I want to see what's in your bag. This is your brewer's bag, huh? That's my brewer's when bag. When you played? Yeah, I had to dust it off uh, and see what's in it. Now, a lot of the items are the same because I got the inspiration for the baseball box based on what I used on the field and some off the field. Now, the first thing you might see is brand new. Haven't used it yet. It's a Yugo Pro Baseball coffee <laughs> mug because I drink coffee all the time. Nice okay, stuff. so this will come in handy. Starbucks guy. I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy. What are you? Leave a comment below. It's either coffee or it's water. So I got a water bottle as well. Make sure you hydrate out there, especially playing in Arizona where you don't sweat. Ooh. Make sure you hydrate. Got a little speed shoot, all right? When you're out there on your own, you don't have someone to coach you through it, slap on the shoot and it gets you a little quicker. Um, and speed was a big thing in my game, so it, it's near and dear to me. Again, being a Florida boy, got a fleece. If it's cold, I'm popping the fleece on. Pine tar, rosin bag, and glare blockers. Eye black. 
After that, depending on the day, especially nowadays, neck gaiter. Wherever you go, if you're on the field, sometimes you may have to wear it, but I have a neck gaiter in there. I have two back grips, just in case. Again, sunflower seeds were in my bag, but I did not play at the USSA <laughs> comp. You actually did play I here. I did. Before it was the USSA. Tell us about that real quick. Yes, this complex was the National Spring Training Complex, and it was the Brewers Low A, Brevard County Manatees. I played here in 2012, and it was scary to play on the fields back then, and they were a professional complex, and it was scary to go on the backfield especially. Now you come here, and it's, it's crazy nice, and... I would love to take ground balls again on this field. <laughs> it wasn't like this. No, not at all. <laughs> Hand warmers. Got some glove oil. Got some Axe body spray. Need that. Need sometimes, that. you know, you work a little hard and, and the sweat starts pouring. Not too nice. Leggings for another cold day. Personal mm. protective device. All Need infielders, that. please wear these. And we got a couple gloves here. I got a 975 from Valley, which is my personal favorite. A little shorter than the game glove. And then a modified pancake trainer. This one's really awesome. Actually has some give to it so you can squeeze. I mean, I like doing a lot of infield drills with this as well. I sell those on my website, yougoprobaseball.com, and they actually are white gloves, believe it or not. Yes. They come, they, they come white, but obviously Nick used the crap out of them. Yeah, I've used these quite a bit. <laughs> but anywhere I go though, these things, people are asking me, where do I get this glove? And it's not only nice leather, but it sticks out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've got a batting helmet, a little backup batting helmet. Squishy ball. You can use for wall ball. If you don't have a coach or something, you can take this to the field or, or a racquetball court near you and throw it against the wall and get your reps in. I actually have a hitting tee in my bag because again, if I come to the field and I don't have a coach that can show up or another player to show up, I can slap this guy together and uh, get some working. We have a bat from Tyrus, 33 inch. And the last couple things we have are turfs. Some ear pods, air pods, sorry. I used to use these actually a lot pre-game, kind of relax a little bit, get ready for the game. Slot the AirPods in and listen to a little music while I juggle the soccer ball. As soon as I got my uh, pregame work in, BP, some hitting in the cage, I would actually put headphones in, go down away from everybody or on the field after the other team was done, and I would actually juggle the soccer ball. It kind of relaxed me, it got me in my routine, and it, anything I did with my feet to improve a little coordination I felt helped me as an infielder. Whether it works or not, I think it worked for me. And last thing, I have a little baseball journal. Okay, and I used to keep one, obviously it didn't have this logo, but I used to keep one in my bag and when I would face certain guys, guys that may have got me out or didn't get me out, had success, I would write down how they looked coming out of their hand, what they got me out with, so that next time he comes in the game, I could look and read a few notes on that exact picture. Very cool, very cool, cool stuff in the bag. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know. I can show you what's in my bag these days, nowadays. You know, I can ask some other guys that come on the channel to see what's in their bag. So if you guys like this kind of thing, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Again, be sure to, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video or not, but we shot a bunch of videos today, so be sure to check those out. But Nick's got his own YouTube channel now. So go check that out. I'll leave the link down below where you can subscribe. Again, if you want more information on the USSA, all American games. Links down in the description as well as the baseball box. So check them out and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.